Okay, here's a bit more confirmation um, here. As you can see, I have uh, four channels turned on, but no inputs to the four channels. And so now let's check the utility menu, system, system info. So you can see here that we have a DS1054Z serial number. There's the, the firmware and the board revision number. So now let's go to Options, Installed. You can see that uh, my trial times have ended. So I have no options installed. So now let's go to the Acquire menu, set memory depth to Auto, Auto, Display menu, Persistence time, 100 milliseconds, Horizontal time base is set to one microsecond per division. And now I'll enter the delayed time base by pressing the horizontal button. And scope is frozen. Completely frozen. Response to no buttons and no knobs. It's frozen. So let's reboot. And because we had all the conditions for the freeze up established when we shut it down, it may come up frozen. Okay, so it's not <clears throat> it's not frozen at present. Because it didn't stay in the uh, horizontal zoom mode, it was never fully in the horizontal zoom mode. So let's go to the acquire menu, check that memory depth is auto. Let's go ahead and set that to the maximum memory depth now, 3 mega points. And uh, let's check to make sure that we have display 100 milliseconds set. Now let's enter horizontal zoom mode like that. And we are not frozen. Right, because we had we we're not frozen because we had something other than auto set in the acquire menu here, but if we're in horizontal zoom. And with auto set in mem or with uh, three mega points set in memory depth and 100 milliseconds set in display persistence. Now, if we cycle the scope,
And now the scope is locked, frozen, because it reset itself to auto memory depth and that satisfied all the conditions for the bug to occur. So it starts up starts up locked. And in order to get it back, you have to do the old undocumented fifth dark gray button reset technique. Listen, and it's got a continuous beep now. Okay, so it comes up in Chinese. Let's turn that obnoxious beeping off. And uh, select English from the language. And now we're back to functionality again, but we've lost that setup that we had before if it's not actually stored in memory. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.